Hey guys, um, happy Friday. I just needed to make some little envelopes for some of my journals. I'm trying to get some stuff ahead and I thought I might as well bring you along with me. So I wanna make these little um, envelopes. I'm sure everyone's seen them before. I've made them a couple times and I love them and I'm out and I wanted more. Um, can you hear that? And that is what I love. So when I start, I look for some patterns that I want to use. And then you just have to be mindful of the flap. So what you want to be on your flap. Okay. So um, there's a couple different options that I, I usually print on vellum. And there's a reason why. Although the, I, I didn't have very many. So that's why I was going with tracing paper. But this is my vellum sheet and I should have not picked something that was so busy so you guys could see. So what I've actually done is I have picked some music paper out and then on one of my um, programs what I did was where I wanted the flap I just cut it and pasted it and rotated it back on the graphic and then saved it so when you turn your flap down then the writing is the right way unfortunately because this is so busy you can't really see it so if you pick something that's less busy or it's kind of wider, then you would be able to see the writing and the title through there. So um, this is on vellum and I usually use vellum, it's a little heavier, um, but I like the sound of the tracing paper. And this is, well, this isn't really even a tracing paper. It's more of a cheap pad and I don't even know where I put it. Um, it's like a really, really lightweight, cheap pad of paper that I got. Um, I can't believe that I can't find it. Um, that I got at a thrift store. So it's kind of like tracing paper. It's not as see-through as tracing paper, but it kind of is. So if it was more see-through, it would make more of a difference. Um, I didn't care tonight, I just wanted to make some of them. So I printed off this one, isn't it beautiful? And then I printed off this one. And this one, you can barely see that. And then this one. So, if I wanted to use vellum and I wanted to see through, then you would want to pick the side for your flap. And hmm, I think I like that. I think I like that. And you really, you really, I could have um, printed on this side as well to give it more um, so you couldn't see this. And it would hide some of that bleed through. Oh yeah, I am going to do this side. And I had to cut some of it off. So then you just want to flip it up here. And fold it. And then your flap, hope that you got it straight. No. So usually I like to leave a little bit of a space. And I didn't. Hmm, because I wanted to have more, but that's okay. We'll just go with it. And there. So there's where I'm saying about the flap. And either or flap could have been okay. And then you see what I mean with, you can't even really see it because it's not. It's not a big enough flap. Really, that should have been 
folded down so you can see the title of the song. And if this wasn't so busy, you could see that. So there's kind of one with the vellum and the paper. Okay. Now here's a favorite graphic that I always use for just for this purpose. Isn't it beautiful? And so when I'm doing that, I try to keep the same color papers going. So if this is white, white on the inside, I, I tend for it to be like a white graphic. And where this one here was kind of a creamy color, so I used um, the coffee stain paper and then I just printed this one. Um, this is from a music book that I had. Um, and I printed that on there. And then when it opens up, you can see the words here. And um, because it's that tracing paper, you can't really see through it. So it doesn't matter what's showing through that. So there's that one. And then we've seen this one. And so I just wanted to have a little bit of this here dark brown peeking out. And so this here is um, the cream color. So that's why I picked the coffee dyed paper in there on that side. And then I have all the other ones to do. So then what you would do is you would take your sewing machine and you would sew it up. And you'd sew it around. You can glue it on the sides if you want. And I think I'd, I think I'd just tack it there and then take my sewing machine. And then um, you have a little envelope. And some people put a little brad there with a little string. I don't. Sometimes I do, I guess. Sometimes I do. But I like... I like that. You can round the corners. Um, you can flip it over. You can do a nice little pocket there. Um, let's see. Just grabbing them. You could do a pocket on there. You could do lace. Um, And then you could sew that and that could be a little pocket in there. This could be a little pocket there. You could go higher with some lace. Oh, I like that. You could sew that there, glue it and sew it. And that can be your flap. I really like that. I'm going to save that. Uh, you can make some clusters. Like I said, this is one of my favorites. And then, I'm not sure if I'm going to cut this off or not. I think I'm going to leave it on there and stitch around it. And then you have, you could even do a lace pocket here for an extra little, an extra little spot there. And then you have a place where you can talk all your little goodies. Um, you could also, instead of, instead of um, sewing it, you could um, totally put pieces of paper here, like blank pieces of paper or a pad, and then have it open up like a booklet as well. And have a pocket over here. <clears throat> There's all kinds of things that you can do. And it's so fast. You can do little ones. Um, this one here is quite a bit thicker because it's, it's heavy vellum. So, yeah, guys. Um, I just want to jump on quick. And um, I was making them. So, I don't have my sewing machine out here yet. Because I was too busy getting all this stuff ready. Um, you can also... Yeah, oh, this one. Like, look at this one. Okay, so I forgot to tell you this in the very beginning. So, for people that have um, printers that the friggin' paper will not go through, and I've just been battling mine. I got a new printer. My old one worked so well, um, but it was the first Eco Tank that they made, and the the sponge was full, and I bought the chip. But anyway, I knew it was going to be time up. Um. It, it recognizes the paper. So because this was so thin, 
it wouldn't print on it. It kept sliding it through and it kind of ticked me off. So um, what I had to do was I had to tape it on just a, I tried, um, cardstock, it wouldn't take it. It was too thick. Um, so I tried a, a regular piece of paper and I just taped it here really good. And then I taped it on this side. But when it was going through the machine, it was still catching like this. And then it was doing it was doing this in the machine. There was a big bubble there. And then it got all caught up. So what I ended up half, having to do was I used some washi tape. And right there where that printer first catches your paper... I put some washi tape there, wherever I thought it was going to catch, and then right there. And once I did that, and I use washi because it doesn't rip your paper all the crap. Um, see, it got caught here. Once it takes it in and it wants to grab it and do that bubble, and then stops printing. I was doing this. Um, once I put the tape there, it was okay. Then I could print on it. And then, um, I just cut it off there. And we have, um, we're good to go. So this one here, because you can't see through it, I'm going to do this. Once I get it, I'll cut down the size. Um, and then I got to figure out which side I want my flap. So it's probably going to be like that, I think. Yeah, it's probably going to be like that. And then my flap, and I, like I said, I leave a little bit there. So when you sew it, it's not so hard to put your stuff in there. Um, and then I probably, to cover up that ink spot, I probably will run some lace or some sorry silk or something across that just to cover it up. And um, then I'll have another one. Yeah. Anyway, guys, I hope this helps. Um, pretty easy. There's all kinds of, all kinds of different um, things you can do with it. If you get some good, if you guys get some good collage paper, like that's going to be beautiful. This one here is going to be beautiful. Um, and then I just love the crinkle sound when I'm done. So I will, um, once I get these made, I'll post a picture probably on my Instagram and Facebook page to show you guys what they look like. If I would have had my stuff ready tonight, I would have, um, we could have sat down and had a craft with me night, but I have all my stuff put away. I'm going to have to take it all out. So thanks for watching guys. Print off some graphics. It's pretty easy, but it makes some nice, nice little envelopes that you can, um, stick in your journals or if you make them small enough, they can even fit right over the page right over your journal pages. So thanks for watching guys and have a great weekend. Bye.